Hi, and welcome to another episode of Lori's Corner. Today, my guest is Kelly McCatherine of OnlineInstruct.com. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you. Great to be here. Tell my audience a little bit about how long you've been using Acrobat or how you got involved with it to begin with. Okay. Um, I traveled the country and taught in 95 and 96 for one of the world's largest printers at the time. And I was teaching a class on PostScript and PreFlight. And I accidentally found out that Acrobat could open a PostScript file before I'd turned it into a PDF. So they were just starting to learn what PDF could do for them and how people could submit files that way. Um, and that's really where I got started with it, probably 95. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So how do you use Acrobat today? Today, all of my handouts are distributed via PDF unless they request printed copies. But two of the things that I absolutely love the most, one thing I try to encourage for everybody is don't print your documents. PDF them, because more than half the time I spot a problem that I would have never seen, that I would have wasted the paper and had to print again. So everything before I print goes to PDF and I take a quick look at it, and I'm always catching stuff. I work on a lot of curriculum, and I work with people who are doing reviews, tech editing cycles, and the ability for me to enable the commenting tools for people who only have the free reader has been a lifesaver. You put a shared review up there, everybody who's working on it can see the other people's comments instantly, and that way you aren't getting five people marking up the same thing, oh, you forgot the logo here, or the, oh, you've got the word the twice. So it's just an excellent way to collaborate as a unit, and you enable it as the owner of the full version of Acrobat, but it doesn't matter what they're running, pretty much everybody has the Adobe Reader. So now that you're using Acrobat 10, what do you like most about it? Well, it's fast, it just zooms, but I'd have to say the PDF portfolios are super exciting, and I've been playing with getting stuff over to my iPhone and using some of the readers there, the built-in readers from Apple, but also some of the third-party products. So um, I just try to keep more information on my iPhone since I travel uh, very often, hotel numbers and, and just notes and things that there was no great way to get from one to the other unless, unless you kept it at the top of your inbox. But the ability in Acrobat 10 to add skin to those and flash skins right on top of your PDF portfolios, so to make dynamic content that's beautiful and elegant and then load it onto your mobile device to show something off is just mind-blowing. And people barely know what Acrobat can do. Most people only have exposure to the reader, and even then they aren't necessarily using the commenting tools, they're just viewing and printing documents. But Acrobat is so deep, I could spend a week teaching it or targeted whole days on whatever you're going to use it for, commenting, interactivity, multimedia, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So did Acrobat ever save the day for you? Oh, goodness. I, there's countless stories, but uh, one I can remember the most is I was teaching in Canada. I think it was Toronto. And my handouts, it was a large lecture, and the handouts were supposed to be there, but they got held up in customs. Well, I started about 10 years ago keeping all of my handouts online. And I think that was the time my laptop's logic board had died, so I was traveling with a rental. So I couldn't even recreate the handouts while I was there. But I was able to jump to my site online, download them, run off to a quick copy shop, and get like 80 of them printed the night before the session. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it was a great story. And the other thing I use it for a lot, um, I had to roll out a product for Adobe. They handed me a laptop. They said, go live is being launched tomorrow. Learn it on the plane and roll it out in the morning at this big show from West Coast, East Coast to West Coast. So I ended up doing a bunch of research and using file create PDF from web page and storing information on cascading style sheets, HTML, or just everything I needed to fill my head with in that five hour flight. So I didn't have online access, but I had all the online materials pre-queued as PDFs and saved permanently. Wow, that's great. That's a great story. Well, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thanks for coming. And we'll see you again on another episode of Lori's Corner.